Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. Happy Friday. Welcome. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. Hey, Facebook. And listen, if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, I want to welcome you, especially if you're just watching for the first time on a Friday. Because on Friday, Fridays, I'm a little loose. <laughs> I've been working hard all week. Honestly, my days, Friday is a Tuesday, Tuesday is a Sunday. Nothing actually changes for me, but we're just going to celebrate Friday, right? Um, if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, even if you're watching the replay, I want you to put a one in the comments. Put a one in the comments. This is your first time watching. If you've watched at least three times, put a three in the comments. If you watch three or more times, put OG. You're just an OG member. You know, we just know each other. We just good. Let me just see your comments, even if you're watching a replay. Speaking of replays, to so all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So let's get it. Hey, Benzel. Hey, Anumel. What's up, K Prism? Actor Dumas. Uh, Ab, mm, I'm not even going to try to say it. You can tell me your real name on Instagram because I can't pronounce that, but I see the one, so I welcome you. Hey, 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 hey. So you're in the right place. Yes, and you mail OG. You're in the right place if you're, if you're an actor, and especially if you want to work in film and TV because that's what we're going to talk about tonight. So this is episode 183 of Actors Daily Bread. If you've missed any episode, you want to catch up, just come on over to uh, YouTube. And you can binge all these episodes. <laughs> um, and, you know, this whole series, today's day 20 of my Level Up to Stardom series. And I called it that because I'm teaching next Saturday, August 24th in Atlanta at the Bronzelands Film Festival. So in honor of that, I've been going live almost every day. The past couple of days, I got a little busy. Thank you for the love, Anzel. I feel it. Hey, Capri. Okay, Capri. Got it. Um, hey, Sheila. Um... Obsidaxinobio, tell me what your real name is. <laughs> but I'm excited to get into tonight's content. Y'all, we had a, a live a couple of Fridays ago that was off the chain because I was off the chain. But I was thinking about how we could have some fun tonight as you guys wind down, especially on the East Coast. Um, sorry, let me plug my computer in. I wanted to die on us while I'm live. One second. Okay. So today's live is all about how to adjust your read based on the circumstances. Ba okay, hi, Micah. There we go. How to adjust your read based on the circumstances. So here what I mean, here's what I mean. If you're new to me, excuse me, if you're new to me, my focus, though I have a Broadway background and did theater forever, my sweet spot and where I love to coach actors is making that transition to film and TV and dominating that. Wait, Sheila, you booked your first co-star? Can we send Sheila some love? She's been following on uh, here on Instagram. I am teaching Capri. The link to my class is in my bio on Instagram. I'm teaching all day Saturday from 10 to 6. It's a full freaking day of all me. We're going to cover uh the business of acting the first part of the day and the second part of the day i'm going to be hands-on scene study there's going to be group exercises like just everything that i'm teaching in these videos that i try to teach without touching you i'm going to do that in person so the link is in my bio congratulations yes i love it love it love it um and so tonight if you're just joining happy friday i love spending friday night with you guys it's so weird can i just be honest because i'm on the east coast i'm from the I'm, I'm from the East Coast, but because I live on the West Coast, I forget sometimes. That's why, honestly, I didn't go live the past two days, if I can be totally transparent. Yesterday, I spent almost seven hours at the library working on slides for the event in Atlanta. I love the library. I just sit there. I have silence, aside from the kids, every now and then. And I'm like, by the time I come up for air, it's like 8 p.m. Pacific, which means it's 11 p.m. Eastern. And I'm like, it's too late. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but for me, it's early. The sun is still out in LA at eight o'clock, you know? So my apologies, but I just, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go live just for me and my dog Prince, you know what I mean? So that's why I just don't bother. Um, 
but I, I've been trying to, I've been so immersed with this event coming up. Um, but Sheila, I don't even know you girl, but you've been showing up to these lives almost every day. So I, this is how it, this is how it happens. So truly congratulations. You're getting so much love on Facebook. You're not even on Facebook. I hope you join our Facebook group. If you haven't, I feel like you joined it. But come on and see the love you're getting on Facebook, too. Congratulations. That first co-star is huge. So tonight, this will go right in line with all of that. You know, a lot of the questions I get when it comes to acting in film and TV, but I'm going to focus. These could, this could go for both tonight. I want you to write this line down or just memorize it. Hey, where are you going? That's our line for tonight. Hey, where are you going? Hey comma, where are you going? That's our line for tonight, for our exercise. So as you're home or in your car or watching me, I want you to do these with me. And so a lot of times what I find is when I'm coaching actors and even for myself, when I have a scene or I get a script sent and I'm prepping the lines and I'm prepping my character to be more clear, not just prepping the lines, I'm, I have to always ask myself, what circumstance am I in? And I'm really excited to bring this to you tonight. <laughs> Benzel says, a lot of actors are up. <laughs> well, you know, I just have to, I'm trying to be respectful, right? Um, cool, like, Benzel, I don't want nobody to be like, who that lady you watching? It's 11 o'clock. You watching that lady on Facebook. Um, okay, focus, Christine. Focus. Benzel's trying to take your focus. Don't let him do it. Here we go. It's important that you remember where you are in relation to the scene that you're working on. Hey, Trafina, right? So here's what I mean. So your line, everybody has their line. Hey, comma, where are you going? Thank you, TC, for writing it down. Hey, comma, where are you going? That's what we're working on tonight. I have experienced this firsthand where I've booked a gig, I'm on set, and I'm like, yeah, my line is, hey, where are you going, right? Hey, where are you going? And then I always hate this, but it's, his, it's happened, I'll be honest. And the director's like, Christine, remember we're in a loud bar or we're at a loud party. Because here's TV magic, here's movie magic. Movie magic is when, you know, when you guys are watching a scene and it's a party like, mm, 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 mm. people are dancing, mm, mm, mm. I'm doing my best white girl dance, mm, 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 right? There's no music playing. They play the music in the beginning so that the whole, all the background actors can get in the vibe and all the actors can get in the vibe and they know what the beat is supposed to be. And then they turn the music off and then it's dead silence. And it's very easy to fall in the trap of just being like, hey, where are you going? No, remember, we're in a loud, crowded bar. Remember, mm, 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 mm. So that now becomes, hey, where are you going, right? And it feels so weird in the moment because you're like, why am I yelling? I'm the only one yelling. What's up, Terrence? Right? It feels like, hey, Sheena. It feels like, where am I? Why am I yelling? But the reality is in post-production, they're going to come back, throw that music through the whole thing, which is why when <laughs> you see people dancing outside of people just not having rhythm, it seems like they're slightly off because they probably forgot what the rhythm was supposed to be. But that is why the music is not playing. And I'm giving you one circumstance. We're going to do several. I have a whole list here that we're going to do tonight. But that's, I'm planting that in your ear so that you remember that for the future. You have to know what the circumstance is. So let's go through my list, okay? So let's play, let's play with them. So I just gave you loud, um, I need a pen. There we go. So I just gave you crowded bar. So wherever you are, if you're at home, this is better. But if you're in the, like with other, if you're at a Starbucks right now, don't do it. Just wait. So crowded bar. Mm, mm, mm. Line is, hey, where are you going? Mm, 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 mm. Hey, where are you going? Right? Like what? And I say this to, and I have more. So here's the thing. You may be like, Christine, you told us like, don't be big. This isn't theater. That's where I'm trying to tell you. This is not about being big. This is about being present in the moment of what the circumstance is. If the circumstance is you were in a crowded bar, there's no way you're going to get someone's attention by saying, hey, where are you going? 
I'm always talking about intimacy and how we create this relationship with the cat with our camera, right? We create that intimacy, but we have to be aware in what realm we're creating it. So let's try another one. So now we're going to go through some different, we're going to mix it with different emotions. We're going to mix emotions with locations. Y'all ready? Your line is, hey, where are you going? <clears throat> so the line, hey, where are you going? We're going to do, we're going to do joyful. We're going to do just joyful. Let's just do the emotion of joyful, right? I'm going to do my version, but please do your own. I can't see it, but just do your own. So, hey, where are you going? So you get to make up the scene. Like, like maybe you just found out you got an A on your test. Like, oh my God, I got an A on my test. And your friend. So for the, all these things, let's pretend that our best friend or our husband or our girlfriend or our wife is with us. And at some point, they're trying to leave. So just insert person in the relationship there. So for my relationship, I think I will make this person my, I'll make it my boyfriend. So I just got great news. The, the, the emotion is joyful, okay? Hey, where are you going? Oh my God. And I just got like an A on my test or something. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, where are you going? That's that, hey, like I want to have a good time. Like don't leave me moment. Let's do another one. We just did crowded bar. Let's do across the street. Shout out to Sheena, shout out to Jafina, who I know have done this exercise where we had a scene where we were yelling across the street to somebody. So same thing, maybe you were talking to someone. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, I get, hey, where are you going? Right, but even with yelling across the street, we still get to decide or the script di dictates what the emotion is. So I could still have, so I just did kind of like an angry, like frustrated emotion across the street and I had to use my, and so this, I'm saying all this to say tonight, when you do your self tapes, when you have an in-person audition for film or TV, I don't want you to be like, it's just a small room and it's just me and this lady or this guy here and it feels weird to yell. Christine told me to be small. No, Christine told you to be present for the situation that you're in. If the script clearly says you're yelling to Jojo across the street or you're in a crowded bar, you're not gonna be like, hey, where are you going? No, it's hey, where are you going? Hey, hey. That's not being too big. That is being present. I hope you're with me. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Let me see some comments in the, let me let, somebody let me know something because it's kind of quiet online. You might just be mesmerized and that's fine too. But I need to know that you're picking up what I'm putting down, okay? So the next one is, um, so we could use the same across the street analogy, but maybe it's joyful, joyful emotion talking to someone as they're crossing the street. <laughs> like, oh my God, you're in the street, you're in the middle of like New York City, you're like, oh my God. And he's, hey, where are you going? Oh my God. Oh my God. Right? You're having that moment. You with me? Thank you, TC. Yes, be present. Yes, Sheena. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, Instagram's quiet tonight. Usually it's opposite way. Opposite way. So let's try some more emotions just for fun. Let's do um, in the classroom. So it's you and like your best friend and you're sitting next to each other, right? It's your final exam of the year. Like the, the exam that's gonna get you in the college or to help you pass the bar. And your best friend's sitting next to you. You see them get up. You're doing your, hey. Are you going right oh, let me rephrase because if this is my camera i would not do it that way x x nay because we're always thinking about the camera i was just doing it as if i was on set and i want to really prep all of you for doing it for an audition and again the audition whether in person or on tape is the same to me so let's do that again. You're in the classroom. Our line, if you're just joining us, our script for tonight is, hey, comma, where are you going? So what we're doing is learning how to adjust our read based on the circumstance. We've already done crowded bar, across the street, joyful. Now we're in a classroom. Your best friend is getting ready to leave, taking a really important test. But I'm going to do the eye line based on how I would do it if this were an audition, in person or self-tape, OK? I'm doing my test. And if I were taping this at home, I wouldn't do exactly what I'm doing right now. I'd have a real pen. I'd have a piece of paper that you can't see outside of frame because it just makes me like feel good to hold on to something tangible. It does not have to be in the camera. Actually, do not do that. Bring it out of frame. 
but just the mere fact that you are doing something physical sends a physical reaction to your brain and makes it more real. It makes, makes you more present in the moment. So I'm just here. I see my friend. I see my friend get up. And I'm not trying to call attention to it. Imagine you're in a classroom at a college or university. Are you trying to let the whole class know your friend's getting up and you're trying to get an answer? Why? No. Doing my answer, I see him. Hey, where are you going? And maybe I'm looking around to see if other people see him leaving. Let's try that again. In the classroom, guys. Quiet classroom. No, just Not trying to disturb anybody. Practice this wherever you are, unless you're in public and you feel weird. But if you're at home, there's no excuse that you're not practicing this with, practicing this with me. Here we go. Action. Hey, where are you going? Right? Notice that I took the time to see him get up. What about the hospital? K Pre on Instagram says, what about a hospital? Well, what's the circumstance of the hospital? You telling me what about a hospital is not enough. Are you the nurse at a hospital? Are you, like, t give me more. I love where you're going, K Pre. Just give me some, give me some more. Because if we get a script for an audition, the script will tell us more. One, put it in here and we'll do it. Yes, K Pre is playing. Okay, let's do another one. How about nervous, guilty? Like someone like, Lord knows somebody pick up your phone, honey, that don't got a password on it. <laughs> Imagine somebody picks up your phone, no, don't have a password, they walk out of the room. Let's do that. That's the, that's the premise. You minding your business, reading your, reading your magazine, like, and then you see somebody pick up your phone with your, without your password. Hey, hey, where are you going? <laughs> a little nervous? Are you guilty? A little nervous? You nervous? What you nervous about? <laughs> okay, nurse. Well, I think you know this. So great. Also, uh, Kay Pri on Instagram who's playing with us says, she, imagine we're at a hospital. She's a nurse and someone's walking out without permission. Let's try it. Right? So maybe I'm the, I'm at the, I'm at the, I'm the ER charge nurse. I'm at the desk. Do my thing. Hey, where are you going? It depends on what it is though. Kay Pri. The circumstance will be depending, dependent upon what the script tells us. If the script tells us this character has tried to sneak out four times before, or if it gives us the, if it alludes to, this is an, an everyday occurrence, <laughs> right? That this character is always up to something. Hey, it depends on the character, especially a nurse where we like to play with the, Nurses, when it comes to nurses, especially nurses, well, not even nurses of color, actually. Nurse period gets this whole, we're sassy, we're the friendly with the warm vibe, endearing. So it could be, hey, where are you going? If the, if the nature of the show is playful, where are you going? Frank, every day you leave here at two o'clock trying to walk out somewhere. If you don't put yourself back down with them IVs, go sit down. That's playful. But if it's, if it's serious, like, this guy can hurt himself or kill himself. Like, I've been binging that show, Euphoria. Are you guys watching that show, Euphoria? It's brilliant. Oh, my God. On HBO. I think it's HBO. I don't know. HBO Showtime, one of those. Love it. Anyway, the point is, if it's like this, this, uh, this person who could really hurt themselves, hey, hey, where are you going? You know? It's just, oh, and now it's hurried and it's, and it's frantic. So you... It's not even just about where you are only, it is about what is also happening in the circumstance. So that is my point of tonight. It's not just, oh, we're gonna do a bunch of lines. I had, you know, authoritative, suspicious, angry, anxious, right? Authoritative, hey, hey, where are you going? Sir, you need to step back, where are you going, right? We can do authoritative, we can do suspicious. Where are you going? Yep. Where are you going? Think you can leave here, just walk out? Oh, you can get your lawyer. Like in my brain, the the scene is going somewhere else. The scene is has has other legs to it. Your job as an actor, and when I'm coaching actors, my job is to make sure 
and this is stuff that I love to teach, is to make sure you are always aware if what is happening before the scene starts, what is happening after the scene ends, what secret am I hiding, what is my intention, right? We've been drilled that question over and over. What's my intention? What's my intention? But I think too many actors get so f caught up in that one question. If I don't know my intention, oh my gosh, I must not be doing this right. Okay, let's take the pressure of that one dry ass question. And how about we ask, what was I doing before the scene started? What's my relationship to these people? What do I think about that girl? So maybe in take one of the scene, I'm doing it because she, you know, I have, I care for her. I have something about her. I want to protect her. And maybe in scene, my next take of this scene, some, I have a, I don't like her. She reminds me of a girl who my ex husband slept with or something like you get to decide. I'm always talking to my clients about what secret are you hiding? You get to make that up. That's the fun stuff. So tonight, I really just wanted to plant a seed in your head about n making sure, not just for your audition, not just for self-tapes, not just for when you're in person, not just for when you're on set, understand what circumstance you are in. I love that Kate Pri on Instagram played with us because she was like, what about a hospital and being a nurse? And we played with this line, hey, where are you going? But my answer could not be one layer because my answer depends on the circumstance that her character is in. And so what I think is happening when you get auditions, you're, not, you're seeing a surface level. And I'm, and I'm going to make sure my, some of my other private clients see this because some, some of my clients recently have asked, Christine, I want to know what you do exactly. What do you do? And I'm like, shit, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is it. The issue, the difference is I'm literally taking the time to think of all these circumstances and think about all the ways and all the circumstances my character could be playing in this world. And what I, I want you to, to remember, whether you have your, you're not, you're, whether you're trying to get your first co-star or you're working on your 10th co-star, working on your series regular, you get to bring something to the room. So even if it says guard number one, doctor number two, mom, lady in line, <laughs> look at my IMDB, go toward the bottom. When I was in Stomp the Yard, <laughs> pushing Columbus short around for eight hours, my label on the credits was woman, <laughs> woman. I had to make an identity for her. No one was going to give that to me because no one was no one was putting that energy into it. But you get to do that for you and no one gets to take that away. I want to help each and every one of you find the joy and fun in acting again. You started to do this for a reason. Some of you started later in life, but some of you are like me. You started when you were 4, 5. I used to pin I used to go to the dollar store. It wasn't the dollar store, like the beauty supply store. You know how they have the big, they have these big braids that are like Kanekalon. I know I'm speaking foreign language to girls who don't hang out at the beauty supply store. But um, basically fake hair, like a big fake braid you could buy for 99 cents. And I would take my allowance and I would ask my mom, can I get that hair? And I would pin the hair. I would take it out the packet and pin it to the back of my hair. And then I pretend to be like Diana Ross and I would walk around the room and do all these dances and I would get my tape recorder, the kind where you have to hit the two buttons at once. You hit the two, <laughs> Facebook, I see the love. I, you hit the two buttons at once. I used to record the radio so that I can mimic my voice to sound like the DJs on the radio. And then I would also get my Casio uh, keyboard player and pretend to have my own late night show, like Jay Leno or Arsenio Hall. And I would have fake guests and I would do all the voices of the guests. And that was the most fun, oh, I think I've ever had in my life. So I really feel for some of you who've, who've only started to embrace this world as an adult, who've only come into wanting to act and perform as, a, as an adult, because even as an adult, even though it's been a dream and a desire, a part of you are still approached this world with the logical mindset. 
that you have to be logical and realistic. But honey, let me tell you, when you're five, honey, when you're 10 in New York City in the Bronx with a radio, you can record. I got my fake braid. You can't tell me nothing. I can be whoever I want to be. You cannot tell me. I'm giving you the claps. So what I'm encouraging and inviting in each and every one of you this Friday night, you know, Fridays we go in. I want you to like take the layer off, literally do the onion exercise actors. And if you've never done it, you are cheating yourself. Literally come into your room, private, hell, go into the bathroom. You about to take a shower and you naked. Do the whole onion exercise. I want you to pull. It's like you have a zipper. It's like a full body suit. Unpeel that zipper, honey, pull it off, take it off, take it off so the white meat shows and just allow yourself to be like free. Let God hit you all in the white meat and be free. Play your favorite music in the bathroom. Pretend you will not be judged. No one will see you but you. But I think what gets you is you might see you. And then what? What will you do with that? Freedom is beautiful. And the reason why some of you are not booking the way you want to book is because you are afraid to be free, honey, in the one place where you are actually allowed to be free. I have a book here on my shelf. It's by Neville, The Power of Imagination. There you go, Instagram. And I'm always talking about law of attraction and imagination, but it literally is our job. Hey, Brian, shout out to act, the actor salon. <laughs> I just want you to use your imagination for good. Use your mind for good. Allow yourself to be free. When you can be free, those of you who are meeting me in Atlanta on Saturday, honey, wear some comfortable clothes. Don't be trying to be cute, honey. You can be cute and comfortable but we about to go in. We're going to do some body work because a lot of stuff that I see from actors when I'm looking at your tapes is you stiff as hell. You're not in tune with your instrument. And that is like the main thing you work on in class. Brian says, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you're not following the actor salon on Instagram, please do. And Brian says that. <laughs> <laughs> we met in Oregon. Gosh, just a, such a blessing for all of you actors out there. So I'm going to wrap. I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but I do want to, if you came on late, we were talking about how to adjust your read based on the circumstances. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 183. If you've missed the 182 other episodes, come on over to YouTube, subscribe, so that you can just take, take, keep taking layers off so you can be more free. I cannot give you more than I'm telling you. Like this is exactly what I do. The issue is some of you who ask me questions want a, a magic pill and I don't have one, unfortunately. I just have fun. If acting is only work to you at this point, I need you to take a break. I need you to reset, go spend time with family, go spend time with yourself and then come back. This, this industry ain't going nowhere. It should be fun. Find the fun in it because the fun does exist. You are blessed to have the opportunity to try on characters on, you know, on a daily basis. It's so much fun. All right? So I want you to practice that line. Hey, where are you going? That was our line today with all our circumstances. Hey, comma, where are you going? So look at scripts that you've had. Did you fully create your environment? Did you fully step into all of it? All right? Have an amazing rest of your Friday night. Let me know your comments below. I'll check them out later. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Facebook. <laughs>